delicious. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. We are on maybe one of the last couple of elements in this EV analysis, analytics, diagnostic, whatever dashboard fleet dashboard. Um, this started as me wanting to create elements that one of my friends who's just starting to code could replicate and build his portfolio. It is now cycled into uh, people on my Instagram. I have like two, 300 likes on some of these videos um, actually enjoying maybe the content. I don't know. It's unclear, but digressing. Uh, in the last video, I mentioned that we were going to be doing a seating map. I still want to hold true to that, but I have thought of another idea. So we're still going to do the seating map. I am going to go back and change that navigation sidebar to maintenance because I have a kind of a cool idea for maintenance. And for those of you who are new to coding, you might not have had this assignment or you might not have done a boot camp or a, like a college that does this assignment. But a lot of assignments are like practical in terms of like what you can use them for. So one of my first assignments I did in college was a bug tracker. And not like pest control, <laughs> like like actually like on a code or like in a platform tracking bugs. Um, and so I think I want to do that here for maintenance. So today we are going to be doing the car seat map. I'm specifically doing this for the Model X. We can do it for whatever car, other car you want. This would probably work with just about every other car in the market, you would just make either no third row or you would add a seat to the middle. So the goal of this today is to have uh, control over the boxes that we put in this box. We're going to obviously have a little hover effect. We're going to have a change colors because we're just we're trying to make it a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more unique because the diversity and what you can do with CSS and HTML is just so profound. Um, and yeah, so without going into too much detail, let's start with the HTML code. And as per usual, we're going to start by telling it what it is and writing some information. So we are going to say it's going to be the oh, car seat map. We're going to end this. Also, again, I'm sorry, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch because I'm still technically working. Uh, oops, got to get an equal sign in there. I'm still technically working. We are in the process of releasing an app. Um, I'm also going to do a little series on here just for myself. Um, for anyone who's not familiar with the movie, The Five Obstructions, allow me to shed a little bit of light. Um, I know I'm supposed to be telling you all about all of these things, but this is just the meta tags, essentially, and referencing the... Oh, apparently the stike sheet uh try style <laughs> what um there is this movie called the five obstructions and it is based on the premise let's get this container in here Oop, got a door shut on me whoopsie uh on the premise that it was the recreation of the movie the perfect human five times and the perfect human was directed by Jorgen Leth, and he went through a pretty serious bout of depression. So his, I would say, <laughs> I wouldn't say friend because I don't think that they're friends per se, but Lars von Trier is also a, uh, a director, and he's kind of known for being probably one of the hardest directors to work with in history. I think Bjork worked with worked with him. Bjork, I know Bjork worked with him because that was my favorite movie. <laughs> but uh, it was one of those like things where she came out and was like, this was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life is work with this man. And I think about that a lot. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to copy this because I'm just going to be using this again. Whoop. Whoop. There it is. 
and um anyways the five obstructions is just about jorgen left trying to overcome depression making this film five times with five different parameters from um lars von trier so because i was talking during that whole ordeal we are making the seeds so we are doing a container with a box that's the box you're going to see then we're going to do a row and it's going to be two seats and then we're going to do another row and it's going to be two seats and then we're going to do a third row and it's going to be three seats and we're just going to close all that up and pretend like it never even existed and then we're going to go div again oh, no it's been one of those days can you tell Oh, that's HTML. Right? Nope, that's body. See, this is why important. it's important to remember what you're doing. Right? Yeah, we're closing up. We're closing up the body. It's fine. No, that is another div. What is going on? So I can't talk and talk in text. I could have sworn I put this up here. You know what? That's fine. HTM. Let me just Good. Okay. There we go. Ta da. I will never talk about movies again. <laughs> um, let me grab my colors because we are just gonna jump into here with our body. Let the bodies hit the floor. Okay, it's gonna look funky, but remember we do the two top left. Again, you guys do not have to do this. I just do this because it's different for me. Okay, so now we're looking a little funky. Let's make a container. So that container references this area where the box is going to be. So we are going to make sure the display is flexed so that regardless of the size of the page, that container in that box will remain where it needs to live. Um, so that's flex. Uh, let's do justify content and align items in the center. So let's say justify content center align items center let's see the height is 100 and let's leave it at that because we have to make the box so for the box we're going to do the same display um, I'm just gonna copy this but I'm not gonna use this exactly so we are going to have see we've cracked this beautiful thing um so let's do display flex actually let's go flex direction oops i need a dash you need a dash if you're going to define what what you're trying to say here we're going to do column Justify content center, align items center. So that will help us make the column stuff here. Um, let's do the width, let's do 300. Let's see how that looks. And then do the height like 
250. Because I think I want to make these seats 60 pixels. So this would look, at least in my head, it would look good. Background color, we're going to make white. Um, Ta da! Let's round these edges. Uh, let's say 20. Okay. Let's give it a little box shadow, a little je ne sais quoi. Um, let's do 0, 0, 10 pixels. RGBA, let's say 0, 0, 0. And I think I did 0.02 in the last one, so let's leave it at 0.02 to keep everything looking consistent on this dashboard. And there you go, your little shadow. What a day, what a day. Okay, so now we need to define the row. And then after that, we're gonna do the seat, the seat on hover and the seat when it's occupied. I don't really know if we should do a click situation. So we'll, we'll keep that. We'll keep that in our back pocket. So we're gonna display flex. Maybe we should make this a little bit bigger. Mm, no. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm also, <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. Just reuse what you've got. Just reuse what you've got. Ta-da. Going up here, grabbing these. We are going to margin from the bottom. Sorry, my voice just sounded like Jasper the doll. If you're not familiar, um, get familiar because my voice is a little hoarse. Let's leave that and let's go into the seat, the individual seat. So we're going to do width of 60 pixels, maybe, and a height of 60 pixels, maybe. Background color. Um, I'm trying to think of a gray. I think it's BF, 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 but can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, because I'll do this gray and then we'll, we'll have it on. Uh, we'll have it on hover border radius. Let's soften these edges. Um, let's do... 10 pixels. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Little seats. We're getting our little seats in there. Um, let's do a margin to the right of 10 pixels. See if that makes it a little better. Yeah, yeah, that spaces them out just a little bit. I feel like this is kind of like a car. I <laughs> think there would be a little bit more space, but I don't want to have to deal with the claiming the two rows and space them out. You get the gist, okay? That's what matters. Uh, let's do the transition. Uh, the background color of these. Ooh! Color 0 0.3 seconds. Ease in, out. Uh, and that just makes it look a little bit more smooth. You don't have to do this. I just enjoy doing this. So the seat on hover is going to be the same thing. Because <laughs> I'm apparently a one trick pony. I gotta commit, you know. You gotta commit to the... Let's do, let's do a cursor not allowed. I don't think I've done that yet. So, hold on, let me show you. So it would not allow it to be clicked. Isn't that kind of fun? Um, but the other one is the pointer. So that's like when you get the little finger. Yeah. So now you now you guys know that that's they have you can do a cursor not allowed and a pointer. So let's see what the pointer actually. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be my car seat map. 
this one actually don't refresh the page Whew. last time it like refreshed it it went completely blank i thought i lost everything because i hadn't saved any of it so yeah so this would be something like your front seats your middle seats and your back seats um this could be configured like i said before just take out the couple of seats here this could be configured in whatever way you want um depending on how many seats you have in a car and we could add something more so like when the seat is occupied like i said before seat occupied um it would change that color on click we would have to do an event listener in javascript but we could flesh that out more but this is something that i said i was going to do in another video and i did do it <laughs> i don't know if i'm ever going to apply it to this dashboard but maybe i will maybe i will um so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, concerns, if you guys do this your own way and you want to, you know, modify it, do whatever, sh sh send me a link, tag me in it, post it somewhere. Uh, this is going to be available. This code is available on CodePen, on my CodePen, and it's also going to be available on GitHub so you can clone it, fork it, um, do whatever you want with it have some fun. It's open source for you to use. I do this for you all. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.